What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of the Jericho Report Weekly News Briefing. It is Sunday, the 7th of May, 2023. Already the first week into May. No shortage of madness this week. I mean, how do you want your doom? Do you want World War III? Do you want mass shootings? Do you want bank failures? I mean, this report's going to have it all. As always, the link below will take you over to the Patreon post. That's where you can find all of the links I'm going to share with you in this report. Let's just get started. We got a new COVID-19 variant spreading throughout the U.S. with new symptoms. I believe this is the pink eye symptom that I reported that was going around the U.K. It's now in the U.S., but that's okay because COVID-19 is no longer a global health emergency, says the World Health Organization. Really now? I'll put a link to that. CDC resigns. The head of the CDC is resigning, citing pandemic transition. She's resigning now. Hmm. Well, I wonder what she thinks about this. CDC investigates after a dozen tests positive for COVID following CDC conference. A dozen, I assume, CDC employees test positive following COVID CDC conference. Outgoing director lady, anything you want to say? But only to that, it takes two New Yorkers urged to get the MPOX. Is that monkeypox vaccine? I think we're calling it MPOX now because it's racist or something like that. Uh, here's what you need to know. Put a link to this. Biden-Harris administration will end COVID-19 vaccination requirements for federal employees, contractors, and international travel. Really? Well, what about all the people that were forced to take it? Did they get some sort of compensation? Uh, let's just say, hypothetically, if their health suddenly goes into decline. Put a link to this from the White House. Gateway Pundit, Texas AG, announces investigation against Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson, Moderna over deceptive practices. <laughs> well, good luck with that because you know they have no liability. Tell it to this woman's mother. Shattered mom breaks down as she reveals how her healthy daughter, 21, died after receiving the COVID booster. Yeah, new story here. Put a link to it. Chat GDP found to give better medical advice than real doctors and blind study. Well, maybe that's better because you don't want to hear from doctors like this. A vast majority of the patients in my practice were advised by other clinicians to get the COVID vaccination. And I would sadly have to tell you that so many of them, the vast majority of them, aren't doing as well today. All kinds of that stuff out there, you know, the stuff that's not being censored. Anyway, other news going on. In the uh, White House, we got Kamala Harris named AI Czar to save us. I'm, I'm sorry, but does this bitch know anything about anything at all? And I got one in Joe Biden news this week. Apparently, he thinks we've been here for six million years. We're not going to we're not going to increase the debt that every president has done for the last six million years here. <laughs> Over to financial news: How mid U.S. stock index has fared on the Friday five five. Let's see, on Friday the Dow rose. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, rose 546 points. However, for the week the Dow was down. 33 points, I'm sorry, 423 points, I'm looking at the S&P. For the week, the Dow is down 423, 1.2%. All these bank failures going on. I got an article here from Zero Head. Shit just hit the fan in the markets. Regional banks crashing. All oh, banks all around the country are crashing. I'll put a link to this. That's okay because J.P. Morgan Chase acquired First Republic Bank. All the big banks are buying up all the little banks. You know, the greatest robbery in American history that happened all so long ago. It's all happening again. I'll put a link to this. The Fed raises the interest rate 0.25 percentage point, but could uh, be ready to pause. Put a link to that. U.S. could default on its debt by the next month, says Treasury Secretary. Uh, nation officially hit $31.4 trillion debt in January. Remember back in 2008, 2009, we were worried about $8 trillion. Now it's $31 trillion. Put a link to this from RT. Up, up, and away. Warning, financial... Uh, bomb coming from rich dad poor dad uh, the coming financial tsunami i'll put a link to this he's from the rich dad poor dad is warning of financial tsunami burger king closed 400 stores nationwide not the king put a link to that san francisco whole foods hit with 560 calls for violence drugs and vagrants before closing their stores put a link to this from fox business that's going on in cities all across america vice uh preparing to file bankruptcy oh no not vice what happened i'll put a link to that all major late-night talk shows will stop airing immediately as Writers Guild of America officially goes on strike because none of these people, you see, none of these people have an original thought of their own. None of these people write their own scripts. They're all, every single one of them, they just read what the prompter says. And now that the writers are on strike, these guys have no idea of what to say. That's the truth of it. Put a link to that. i got a couple more on the financial men. We've never seen such a dramatic shift. Bud Light hopes new ad blitz can overcome corporate suicide. I doubt it. The pro-LGBT groups... Mount efforts and pressure to Bud Light to stand in solidarity with the trans community. Over to New World Order Police Day News, where I stop you to please share this video. There's a lot going on. The Proud Boys leader found guilty of seditious conspiracy. The, the leader and a number of others found guilty of sedition. They're going to get like years and years in prison. They threw this out too on the uh, on the CNN article. Uh, behind Trump's musical tribute to some of the most violent January 6 rioters. Of course, this is Washington Post, rather. W tell me what's going on here. First of all, how do they get a cell phone in the jail? Second of all, 
They're singing the national anthem after the government locks them up for what they call insurrection. Truly Twilight Zone we're living in. The godfather of AI quits Google, warns of danger ahead. Danger, Will Robinson, indeed. Scientists can now read your mind. AI turns people's thoughts into texts in real time. This from the Daily Mail, May 1, 2023. But the real danger, says the FBI. Devout Catholics uh, report suspicious activity after Chris Swery's FBI targets faithful Catholics and extremist behavior. That's the real threat. And never mind the AI. Put a link to that. Hail Satan. Speaking of uh, Christians, we got Satan's Terror Bible and, and, and half at, at SatanCon, the largest satanic gathering. <laughs> wonder how many government officials are a part of that. Media Matters LGBTU director uh, accidentally admits the book that she and Chelsea Clinton want in school shelves is pornographic. Chelsea Clinton doubles down, says banning sexually explicit books from schools is harmful to children. Well, what difference does it make? Over half of 2022's most challenged books were LGBTQ. Tell me there's no agenda. Put a link to that. And speaking of that, look at this. Take a look at the minimum ages for transitioning at North Carolina's leading hospitals. Two years old, three years old, four years old. How can a two-year-old, a three-year-old, or a four-year-old possibly know this is... What, 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 what reality are we living in here? Biden offers $500,000 grant for English teachers in Pakistan to focus on transgender youth. And I got one at the bottom. Undercover video shows James O'Keefe reveals how the DOJ has paid millions to women that had been raped by trans men in prison. Over to World War III news. We got the large-scale nuclear training exercise to take place this week. Uh, what Houston's need to know, this is down in Texas. I put this out on my Twitter feed. Uh, follow me on Twitter and all my other feeds if you want some news like this. I don't, I don't tweet a lot, but when I do, I think it's something important. Operation Blackjack hit here. You had a big large-scale nuclear drill going down this past week. Nothing came of it, but, you know, just be, the news that came out at the same time was Erdogan announces killing of current Islamic State leader in Syria. It made me think of the time when we uh, supposedly killed Osama bin Laden and, and, and the week before that, uh, that they said that they were going to set off a nuclear weapon in Europe if Osama bin Laden was killed or whatever. Just made me think of this. So Operation Blackjack kid here, always be advised. U.S. military tracking another mysterious balloon. I think this one was actually over uh, Hawaii or something like that. Speaking of that, satellite pictures show 100-foot-long Chinese submarine in the sky military blimp and secret desert military base. I'll put a link to this. What's going on in this big... Uh, Russia, did you see the thing that blew up over the Kremlin? This, let's see, if you look over here on the left side, it happens really quick. They shoot it down just before it hits the building, I think. Uh, the Kremlin's trying to say that the, it was an American drone or that it was a Ukrainian drone trying to assassinate uh, Putin or whatever. Everyone else is denying this, saying it's a false flag. They did it to themselves. What, who knows what really happened? I'll put a link to this. Things are blowing up over the Kremlin, though. No. Something blew up over Ukraine as well. Russian surveillance drone was circling Ukrainian capital uh, before it was shot down. They got some video of that here. Let's see. Uh, I think it was further revealed that this might have been a Ukrainian drone. Uh, and the, the, they did the mistaken identity or something like that, but whatever the case, uh, it gets shot down here about a 13 seconds in, I think. Let's see, yeah, there it is. So that happened. I, I don't know. Stuff's blowing up on the skies. Russian freight train derails after hitting explosive device. Be advised, broken Russian train. So, uh, sea standoff. Royal Navy scrambles warship as Russia sends nuke armada to to stall UK coast disruption. Check it out, nuke armada. Put a link to that. U.S. Ohio-class ballistic missile submarine may make visit, is going to make visit to South Korea, says the Pentagon. I'm sure North Korea is going to be upset about that. Biden administration approved sitting 1,500 U.S. troops to Mexico border as Title 42 deadline looms. Yes, people are massing at the border to come across after the COVID uh, Title 42, whatever it is. I don't know what the, what the wording is, but be advised, troops on the border. Navy seeks to attract diverse talent amid recruitment crisis with drag queen influencer. Yes, I just wonder what the rest of the world is thinking about the United States when they see Navy confirms using drag queen influencer as a digital ambassador to attract recruits. Yeah, if you scroll down here, you can watch the... This is the Navy recruitment video, I guess. This is the United States of America in 2023. Over two earth changes in 2012 news, we got a 6.2. That's the only bit six point this week. I got it set up for six points in about for the past week, May 5th. We had a 6.2 north of the Tomwanra, however you say that, Japan. Put a link to that. I'll drop down the fives. A lot of fives going on around the world. Put a link to the earthquake data if you want to look it up. Uh, didn't see too much on volcanoes. Giant hole at the bottom of the ocean, however, is leaking strange liquid that may uh, indicate a disaster. They're talking about like a nine-point-plus earthquake uh, because this uh, lubrication between the plates under the ocean is uh, seeping out, so th th that could cause problems. I don't know. We had big news this week. The dust, oh my God, in Missouri and Illinois, we had this crazy wind over up, up, up by Springfield, Illinois area. I think just west of there, maybe. They had this big uh, dust dust cloud come across the field and 
caused this crazy accident. A lot of people died. 40 to 60 cars, several, I mean, pile up because of a dust storm in Illinois. Just craziness. Two minor tornadoes touched down out in the Carson-Compton area. More tornadoes out in California. But a link to that. Crazy. Crews work to pick up massive warehouse fire in commerce. I believe that's in California, too. Big warehouse fire in California. We also had an explosion of fire at a petroleum plant in uh, Lamont. I think that's in Illinois. Yeah, Lamont, Illinois. Put a link to that. Also had a big uh, one down in uh, Texas. Massive explosion of oil refinery in Texas. So big fires this week. Big explosions going on. And let us not remember, let us not forget the uh, East Palestine residents experienced legion stomach pain, shortness of breath since Tranley Road. This is a new article came out April 29. We cannot forget the people in Ohio that are still suffering and are going to be suffering for a long time to come. Biden proposes 30% climate tax charge on cryptocurrency mining. Put a link to that. Yeah, that'll solve problems. China's sodium ion batteries to replace lithium batteries in electric vehicles. That says natural news. Interesting. Uh, be advised, Hellman's is now made out of bioengineered food. I think that's been like that for a while, but here's just a reminder. Somebody tweeted out this week. And 3D printed fish set to hit the market. Yeah, I'm actually, I don't care for uh, for fish myself. I don't care for anything that comes out of the water after mankind's polluted it the way we have. I think the only uh, sort of thing like that that I would even eat is like crab rangoon or something like that. Otherwise, but anyway, over to strange and bizarre news. I got some strange stuff, some disturbing stuff coming up. Be advised. Texas assistant principal be, assistant principal beaten while trying to break up fight disturbing video. Apparently there's a ruckus going on in Texas school and uh, assistant principal is just beaten up. Apparently this guy here, justified driver treats man like a bowling pin for hitting his car. Let's just check this out real quick. Guys beating up on this guy's car. Now you tell me is it justified or not. I say it is because you shouldn't mess with crazy people when they're behind the wheel of a car. Don't start nothing more beat up. And, He's just steadily beating this guy's car up, breaking windows, breaking the mirrors. Yeah, big tree fall hard. Strike. Put a link to it, I don't know. Let's see, in New York, man dies on New York subway after being placed in chokehold. There's a lot of ruckus about this. Apparently this guy was like attacking people on the train, saying he's not afraid to die. Some, he was acting crazy on the train. Uh, a 30 year old, uh, I'm sorry, 24 year old uh, Marine veteran put him in a chokehold and he later died, and people are in an uproar. I don't know. We got this uh, in, a, in a neighborhood not too far away. Rich neighbors get into unusual fights. Apparently, they're having disputes about you threw some sod onto my lawn or something like that. It devolves into. Two, two rich people trying to fight, put a link to it. Man turns himself into uh, police after shooting a TV station. This is down in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Apparently his mother called and said, that's my kid, and he's going crazy. He's got a gun. I don't know. Governor Newsom activates a National Guard and I would throw to combat San Francisco's drug crisis. Well, since stores are leaving in droves and the city's just evolved into chaos. Louisiana woman allegedly kills a boyfriend's daughter, wheels body to her mom. Apparently he stuffed it in a bucket, wheeling it back. I'm telling some of this stuff is just disturbing. We got seven victims, including missing girls, uh, found on a property. This is down in Oklahoma. Uh, craziness. Uh, bride killed and bride killed groom injured when speeding DUI driver slams into the back of their golf cart. Apparently these people just got married and they were on a road where I guess it's legal to drive a golf cart and some DUI driver come along, kills the bride. It's just sad. Your pathetic Illinois woman laughs and dances. Yeah, check this out. This lady, she's in the hospital, she's dancing. He's this cop's already told her like you killed two people, and she's just dancing and having a good time. I don't know if she's just that drunk or she just doesn't care. I don't think you understand that. You do not have a bond. You are not getting out of jail. Your car is property of these people. She wants to know it's a when she can get her car back and when she can go to school tomorrow. You are clueless with that. Clearly, I've already explained this to you. You're going to jail for reckless homicide it's, it's, tonight. It's, it's a crazy video. It's 26 minutes long. I watched the entire thing, and it just it, it astounds me that this woman can kill two people and just not care at all. Google Engineer 31 jumps into his death uh, from the 14th floor of tech company's NYC headquarters. Didn't see that one on the news. Put a link to that from the Daily Mail. That's a new article, May 5. I wonder what he found out. Maybe he's tired of seeing stuff like this. From what I've been told, taking a tampon out of a dry vagina really isn't something that's I'm not eating right now. I apologize that, if you What are. I've decided to do is basically lube myself up a little. And what I'm using is a little trusty coconut oil. Oh my god. For all the news, please check my favorite videos. We got the shooting down in Texas. Did I mention that at all? I don't know. That's just happening now. A guy went down and killed like nine, ten people in Texas. 
you know, and then the mainstream media, the usual script, yada, yada. Tracking Falcon Heavy, oh my God, Astronomy Live, that's Astro Mutt from GLP. Check out his video. He's got some just crazy, awesome footage there from his telescope. Massive Fire and CA, let's see, uh, Fed Now is coming. Duran Johnson put a video on Fed Now. Dashcam video shows officer nearly killed in Fairfax County, Virginia. Check that out. Definitely check out my favorites. Fresh news over there. Thank you to everybody still putting out content. You guys are awesome. I got a few shout outs. Some awesome stuff this week. Shout out to Mr. Stroller. Check this out. This lady, I guess, was uh, was packing stuff in her car. Maybe the wind took the stroller away. Maybe it's a windy day, but she fell down multiple times. Can't get back up. Her knees not, not letting her get up. Guy runs over here, saves the day before the stroller goes out into the street. Shout out to Mr. Stroller. Shout out to Mr. Window. This guy here called out of his window, I believe, on the eighth floor, uh, because there was I don't know how a child come to be hanging dangling from the ninth floor, but he saved a child. He gets it back in the window. Shout out to Mr. Window. Put a link to that. And shout out to this lady here. I saw this on GLP, and a lot of people was giving the op shit about you know this is. Stu I thought it was funny though. You tell me if you laugh about it. Let's let's end it on a positive note. Let's Let's end it with some laughter. Let's check it out. This is actually a real bakery. I got to give a shout out to this. You might think it's silly, but I... Laura's gone. I cracked up laughing. Hair force one. <laughs> this will do nicely. I loved it. I just wanted to share it with you guys. Indiana Bones. Temple of Green. <laughs> Barbara Action. <laughs> I love it. That's that's a Christian church center. It says <laughs> church center. <Coolio. laughs> oh, I think there's like a couple more. Hey, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Big takes halfway in. <laughs> That's all. Hebrews. Hebrews. That's the one. Anyway, I'll put a link to it. Maybe you think it's silly. I don't know. It just does. It made me. It made me smile. So I wanted to share it. That's all I got for this week, guys. If you like the report, please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you can suck this, the worst you never want to see again. Please rate though. It helps me move around. You can also follow me on all my links below. The Twitter, the bit shoot, the gabs, uh, the Facebooks. All the links are at the bottom. You can support me on Patreon or directly with DonorBox. I put a lot into these reports, and if you go over to the Patreon page, there's no paid content. You won't get anything extra if you decide to become a patron. It's your just if you want to support the report. I appreciate my supporters. Shout out. I love you very much. You guys keep me going. Every little bit helps. Tell me your thoughts on what's coming next. So, 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 you know, the global pandemic is apparently officially over, but we got this new variant going around. We got World War III coming. Like, I mean, there's stuff falling on the Kremlin. There's stuff falling on. I mean, shh, you got another mass shooting apparently down in Texas. I haven't even read into that one yet. Do we really need to? I mean, it's going to be, you know, this, whether it's real or false flag, it doesn't really matter. I mean, the script's going to play out the same. They're coming after the AR-15s. You know, they're, they're, they're going to come after the Glocks. They're, they're going to do all these things we've been talking about for years, and we all know it. we got the Fed now coming in. The banks are collapsing. Very interesting timing on all that, wouldn't you say? Tell me your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on a Sunday while I give you the news. I should have this up maybe about 3 to 4 a.m. It's about 2 a.m. as I'm uh, posting this video. I've got some editing to do. The links are all built, ready to go. You guys take care. Stay safe. Have a good rest of the weekend. Have a good week. Enjoy the weather. If the weather's getting nice, it's certainly getting warm in St. Louis. I love you very much. I will see you on the next one.